Hey! Another day, another vlog. Welcome back, everyone. Um, fair bit today. Um, start off with, I guess, the fishing sim world. <clears throat> Tried to do the screen recording, which picture quality wise was fantastic. Had my picture in, I could do all that. No sound. Hello. Numpty. Um, yes, I just can't do it. Uh, I'm just going to have to just re just voice record over, and it's not the technical. I've got the webcam work and all that works. It's just not going to work with the communications. Basically, I can't. The upload speed's just ridiculous. I think it's like one to two mega second. Um, it's a desert. It's Telstra. It's Australia. Our internet sucks. First world country. Uh, third world internet. Not much we can do about it. Um, yeah, if I was in the city, I could do it, but I just can't do it. Um, so I'm just gonna just stream them and I'll just talk over, it. that works, I've got that down, so we'll just uh, continue on the tournament. I've done some things, but I played in the morning today for a little bit, but it's, you can't hear anything, so <clears throat> I'll work out what I'll do, I don't know if I'll put that up. I'll leave that maybe and just, just continue on when I can stream again next, next time I come back to work. Um, which would be a couple of weeks away, because I, I should, I'll do another stream before I go, but yeah, I've got two weeks off, I've got a week off R&R, &R, and then I've got to go to Darwin for the 50th anniversary of the Nightcliff Baseball Club, my home team. Um, so yeah, looking forward to that, some big things happening there, I'm gonna do some barrow fishing while I'm up there, there's a fair bit, we'll talk about that closer. But speaking of baseball, Cardinals, we are finally, finally got our uh, shit together, uh, after a really tough start to the year, uh, even poor old Paul Goldsmith who came in, fantastic player, had a really tough start, finally found his legs and been on a bit of a tear the last week or so, so really good to see the boys back up. I think we're half a game behind Cubs at the moment, which is not a bad spot to be in and should make the end of the season pretty exciting. So. We've come from worse places to win it. Um, so yeah, pretty excited about the Cardinals and that'll be pretty cool, so I can't wait. Um, so go Cards, go Goldie, good on ya. It's just smashing home runs, it's really, really good. Um, watch the video, there's a mob in California putting Tesla motors and engines and batteries into old cars. Um, they've done a V-dub a 912 Porsche and that looks smoking and just flying along, absolutely flying along. It uh, was really interesting to watch and I think that stuff like that uh, is going to sell a lot of people. Uh, well, I mean the Tesla's great technology but they're pretty ugly, I've got to admit it, they're not the best looking car. Um, so. For them, for these guys to be able to give you a chance to say, put a, if you look, I'm a Datsun fan. If you if you love Datsuns, imagine a 1200 Ute with a Tesla motor in it. Holy crap! You wouldn't be able to keep the thing in a straight line with the power. But how awesome would that be if you could do that? Um, you can't deny electric the the a way better performance than a petrol. The only thing you don't have is the sound, and I love it. I've driven a Ferrari 360. Scudera, and it's the most beautiful sounding engine I've heard in my life. Um, you, you can't beat that. But it's a fair cost to destroy, to not help the environment. So if you can get that performance, which is really what it's all about, being able to get in the car and go fast, not that you can do that anymore because of the uh, fun police, politicians and coppers, they take all the fun out of things. Um, if you could do that, that would be awesome. So these guys are small, it's only a two person company that started off, one uh, one does the, the car and re redoes all the car up and the other guy's an electric motor guru, he takes them Tesla, old Tesla cars and motors, pulls them out, upgrades them, high performance them and wax them, wax them in. So yeah, great idea, love it. I think it's great and should be more of it. Uh, you just guys start up in that, it's gonna be big in business. Uh, definitely get on that train. Um, Ninja, all over the internet. Uh, if you didn't catch yesterday's Ninja's gone to move platforms from Twitch which is the big one for streaming games and he's moved over to Mixer which is Microsoft uh, the rumors today are talking about a hundred million dollars now 
they did some calculations, Linus did some calculations yesterday, it was about maybe two million a month, uh, roughly, uh, which sounded a bit more legit, but if, if he's getting 100 million, whoo, doesn't that change the world? That's LeBron money. Um, yeah, wow, if he's on 100 million, that's, uh, that's huge, that's gonna change everything for gaming. So, huge in that regards, there's goods and positives about him moving. People are coming and going. Most people are pretty much for it and you know, happy just for him to do what he wants to do. I don't think it should matter. It really shouldn't matter. I, it's, I don't see how a streaming service really makes things better or not. So I'm not in that world. So he's obviously a smart cookie. He's got to where he is that way. And yeah, so if he's made that decision, good on him. Good luck to him. But yeah, 100 million. Wow, that's awesome. That's really good. Well done, Ninja. And last thing I wanted to have a quick chat about is there's a video, there's a couple of videos now, live site versus live scope. So Lawrence brought out the live site version this year. <clears throat> now that touches only to a few of their models, which is the ACS Live and such, which is really nice um, and good, and it's great to see them come out. But you, <laughs> you compare the current live scope go through Garmin against the Lawrence and it's basically Lawrence is about two years I reckon at least a year behind so where Garmin was when they first brought out LiveScope two or three years ago that just that fuzzy picture that real dodgy radar picture you, you get it but then it's just thing and now they got the really clear and you can see the fish and the shape and every the fins and everything well Lawrence is back where Garmin started so Obviously, they had to come in and learn it all and develop it and so sort of stuff. So it's good to see that they're in there. But if you are looking for something and you want to use that live site, which is a pretty awesome thing, Garmin is still the choice. And Garmin's cheaper. So just got to remember that. that you can get a base like a, an SV Ecomote Plus, a Garmin, a 7-inch or a 9-inch that'll run it. Um, and that stuff all. So you can get well under probably easily under two and a half grand Australian and you can get into the game with LiveScope and you'd be lucky to get just the sound of what you need to run LiveSite for that. So if you've already got the Lawrence, okay, it's, it's going to get you there, but I wouldn't buy this version. I'd be waiting until it cleans up so it's a bit better. It's probably not where it needs to be at the moment compared to the Garmin. So was great that's really what i was hoping to see to get a comparison between the two and yeah it's definitely different worlds to uh what it should be i guess um so yeah that's pretty much it another day all done and dusted so i'll probably do some more streaming in the morning i'll get on there and do some gaming uh get some more fishing done uh we did pretty well on the next two tournaments i did which I was trying to get on there and stream, but I obviously got no sound, so it makes it tricky. Um, so yeah, I think I'll just stream, and then at least I can chat, chat through and talk and get on there. So uh, in the morning in Australia, when I get home from work, I'll probably do that, probably about 8.30, 9 o'clock. I'll chuck that, I'll get on there and have a, have a bit of a play and jump on and you can see the tournaments. Um, and then for that's a few guys that will be night time over in the states or i can't remember what it'll be in europe but yeah if you want to get on and check it out i'll be there in about 12 hours i guess roughly it's probably not a bad yeah about 12 hours for now i'll be roughly getting on there so if you want to get on and check it out and suss out the game and see what it's all about uh we're in korea mode we're doing pretty well i think we're 10th overall for all the tournaments the cart ones i had a bit of a win so that was good we got a couple of carps that got me up a few places that helped out with the points. And yeah, that's about it. All right, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, if you're having breakfast, lunch or dinner, off to work, coming home to bed, hope you have a good rest of your day, a good sleep and stay safe and I'll see you all tomorrow. See you guys.